हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर नीलाद्री भौमिक कॉन्सल्टेंट रिमाटोलॉजिस्ट एट यशोदा हॉस्पिटल मलकपेट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी स्पीकिंग ऑन द कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल टॉपिक ऑफ स्टेरॉयड यूज इन रिमाटोलॉजी मोस्ट पीपल पैनिक वेन दे हियर द टर्म स्टेरॉयड इन देर ट्रीटमेंट इन ऑटोइम डिजीजेज स्टेरॉयड्स आर यूज एज अ ब्रिजिंग थेरेपी What is the bridging therapy? That is before the second or the main immunosuppression drug starts acting. Before that, we have to use the steroids for a short duration of time. Methotrexate takes two weeks to act. Rituximab takes one month to act. Leflunomide takes around two to three weeks to start acting. So during that time, before the main drug starts acting, we have to reduce the inflammation using steroids. some of the manifestations like brain involvement kidney involvement heart involvement muscle involvement or the gut involvement needs higher dose of steroids but even then they are tapered off gradually and at the end of 3 to 4 months we reach a dose of 5 mg which is a tolerable dose steroids has a lot of side effects like chances of diabetes weight gain or any poor uh, or effect on the bones but on the long term when it is given at a very low dose that is 2.5 or 5 mg the side effects are much lesser so the goal of the therapy is actually to reduce the dose of steroids and increase the dose of the main immunosuppressant therapy one more thing is that intraarticular steroids that is steroids directly injected inside the joints in arthritis cases usually have less absorption in the blood and have much lesser side effects than the conventional steroids thank you like comment and subscribe for more health updates